How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well. So we're back with another line of sights video on the map Demyansk for Vanguard Multiplayer. Now I picked this one because it's also in CDL, so once League Play comes out this is going to be one of the S&D maps. So that's why we're talking about quite a lot of the S&D spots today, but we are talking in our usual manner where we are going through the power positions and then just some of the basic spots on the map and the lines of sight, some of the best spots, and today we've got some bonus bomb plant spots as well for Search and Destroy. So if you want to see more Search and Destroy specific tips, please let me know, because I am quite happy to do that for you guys, because I do enjoy watching Search and Destroy in the CDL myself. So if you enjoy, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get straight into it now. So, the main power position of this map is going to be the top of the church, in the little church tower, or even just on the roof. So, if we head up there, basically from here you're going to have a lot of line of sights over the whole map. You can see the far right cross, see the opposite roof in front of you. You can see across the bridge there to watch over the bee bomb on search. And then you have another window here where you can just watch behind. And then you can even sort of position yourself outwards onto the roof like so. And it's worth noting you've got this little spot here. If it will break. Basically where you can see inside of the church. And keep an eye on that A-bomb as well. So there's just lots of different spots you can go here. Personally I quite like this one. So if you're playing search and you're on defense. If you can rush up onto the roof. Hide behind this. Obviously you're going to be exposed from this side but... It's going to give you a better angle of that B-bomb there, which we'll get to a little bit later. And then also, if you come around this side of the roof, of course, you're going to be able to see a little bit of different angles and more across this bridge area, but you are going to be a bit more exposed from behind. So, let's get on to some of the counters for this and the counter line of sights. So, two spots that I really like to use when trying to counter people that are camping up here is going to be on these boxes right here. Now, this just gives you a nice little head glitch. You can't even stand up on it. To get a nice little angle inside of there and also if you come down onto this ledge here by the ice then if you come up a little bit you can also get a similar angle if you come around to the left a bit and get a head glitch like so and then you can even use sort of this area as well with the barrels just sort of get a nice shot because sometimes they're not going to be expecting you if you edge away like that and even behind this as well and then of course you can use the tank which is quite a common spot to come into if you're spawning from this side of the map and then you can also use this to, sort of, if you're coming from this way, you can use this as a nice head glitch to watch people pushing across from that spawn. So another nice counter if you've got a sniper, there's going to be quite a few of them over in this sort of woodland area. So you can come to these barrels, get a very nice little mount, and just take someone's head off in there. Because they're probably going to be, it's going to be harder for them to see you than it is for you to see them. You can also hop on these barrels to see straight into that A-bomb site in the bottom of the church. And then also if you come a little bit further back again, then you can angle it up so you can see straight through these trees, two of the windows there. Just be warned, you may get pushed from this angle, but if everybody's in the church, it should be okay. And you can even do like this as well, where you can sort of angle very narrowly between two trees. And it's just going to give you a lot of cover in comparison to them, where you'd probably be able to pick them off like very nice and easily. So if you come inside of this bottom building here, you can peek through these windows like so, that's going to give you a nice angle of all of the church and if you come to this one as well you know you can probably shoot a bit of it out as well like that which is always going to be handy especially in search because it's all going to be broken off the start each round so you can come here and just make your own sort of spot really and just watch that top church see if anybody pushes out or of course you know you can just break them open like that and just go like that and you can get nice angles across the way and the bridge as well so it's just worth noting these spots down so the second sort of power position on this map is going to be this lower um, lower roof there. Sorry, basically on this roof you're going to get a nice spot where you can see across pretty much the whole of this side of the map. You can kind of see through the trees to be um, anybody pushing, but just be warned, people will push this way on you. But I personally really like this spot, and this is also a little counter for that top church as well but obviously you're going to be exposed from each side but it's quite nice if you can sort of angle yourself around this little chimney to see people say somebody's attacking you from down that way you know you can kind of angle yourself like that to get a head glitch and obviously because it's a diagonal roof as i always sort of talk about you can sort of ma manipulate where you want to sort of peek from if that makes sense so if you're peeking here 
then you can sort of swap around, peek from this side, like that. You can maybe come down here to the side. There's just lots of things you can do with a roof like this. Now, one of my favourite spots to counter that smaller roof is going to be over here, where we're right by the church. I personally love coming here by these icicles like that. So if you come to this bit, you can see very nicely to that spot I just showed you. Like so. And it's going to be hard for them to hit you because you're on a very nasty head glitch. And if you move left slightly, as you can see, you are going to be able to push down like that. And you can even see into the bottom windows where we just were as well. So inside the church, there's going to be quite a few counters for the lower roof. So if we break out this window, obviously you're going to be able to see from here. You, you know, you can sort of position yourself further back into the room like this. And it's just going to give you multiple sort of choices where you might be able to kill them from. You can maybe come behind this corner here. Just because if you're sort of right up to the window, hanging out of it like this, then you're probably going to get taken out because you don't have much cover. Whereas maybe you can shoot out a bit of the wood like this. And make your own little head glitch as well. All just little line of sights to think about. Of course, you can use the original power spot on this map which can be the top church take people out on that roof but personally i really enjoy this little head glitch here if you come onto these little um, sandbags you can get a little head glitch over the top and also if you come a bit to the right you can get a very nice line of sight straight across onto that roof the low windows and also into that back spawn as well and you've got a few trees and this statue covering you and also the rock so you can peek in and out like that and you can just get this whole right side of the map on lockdown. It's very hard for them to see you. Obviously, they can push up this way, but you can sort of position yourself or lie down like so. Get a very nice angle straight through the trees there, past the bushes, and just watch this spot, really. And also, you get a very nice spot. If people are sort of running across this mid-area there, across the ice, you can just sort of take them out nice and easily. So, whilst we're on the topic of search and destroy, while well, we're on the game mode, Basically, I want to show you some plant spots that I like to use. So for the A-bomb, if you put the bomb down towards this side of the bomb, you have to have a deployable cover for this one to work really effectively. But if you pop that down here, you're going to be able to come up on top of this and see the corner of the bomb there. You can even crouch down, because likely if you've planted it and they're coming from the other direction, you know, you can get a good angle of this side, but they're probably not going to spot you here. And you can just keep an eye out for that bomb just to see if they plant it or not. Another really nice one as well is if you come back to that spot I showed you before, obviously you need to sort of destroy these little wooden panels as well before you try these spots. But if you put the bomb down just on that side there, or any of these sides really, you can sit on this here and wait for them to come and defuse and get a very nice line of sight straight into that bottom church. And then also if you put the bomb down on this side, you can even come across to the bridge. A little bit more riskier this one. You can just see the corner of the bomb there and see if anybody comes and pushes in. Obviously, you need to watch your back as well, but it's just worth noting that you can do this as well. And then also, I'll show you, if you come to the roof, the little hole that I showed you before. Obviously, if you shoot a lot of it out, you can sit and wait up here. And they may not expect it, although a lot of people do know about this by now. So just watch your back when you're up here. But it's worth noting all these spots down. Now, a cool little couple plant spots into B. If you come across over here through the bridge, you can actually come all the way over here to this fence. And you're going to be able to get a very nice line of sight like that, straight under the bridge. Also from this rock as well. You can just see the corner and this head glitch here through the rocks. You plant a bit to the left. And then also, if we come up to the top church again, little spot that I showed you earlier, but I will mention it again, just to sort of refresh your memory. Come up to the sp church spire, you can actually see the bomb from here, which is always going to be good if you plan on towards this side of the bomb. Just if you can get the bomb down or a teammate can get it down, you can cover this angle very nicely, you wait for them to come to it. And also if you come into this back spawn here, you can angle up your sniper rifle or an AR if you wanted to try it through the trees like that. And then obviously you, know, you can come around this side, but you're going to be a little bit more exposed here. Whilst we are over the side of the map, we will go through a few more. If you come closer to these rocks, you can't quite see the bomb, but you can see anybody pushing over across that by that top bridge there. You know, there's a few different ways you, know, you can position yourself. You can hide behind the trees, get a nice spot like that. 
and also I quite like this one if you come to these barrels you can see straight across that ice to watch when he's pushing this works pretty nicely if you've got a teammate up on the tank there with a nice line of sight covering their spawn from that way and you can see if anybody crosses the ice there which is pretty perfect and also like this as well you can see under the bridge and then also another one that I like to watch that cross where you may get a better view if you come onto this little bit of snow here you can actually see over the rock and they really really do not expect you to be here if you can just get here nice and fast straight off spawn then you can watch them obviously if you have a teammate you're watching that direction as well but a lot of the times I'll find people are trying to sneak their way up like this and try and get up here into our church to plant A and I'll just be waiting here with an AR or SMG and you can take them out but obviously mainly you get a nice line of sight of that far map there now a couple spots if you're coming from this side of the map to sort of counter those ones I've just showed you if you come over to these rocks here if you try beat the enemies to their spots basically if you come here you can get a very nice line of sight straight through under that bridge and you're going to be able to take them out also if you come to the little pier you're going to see right into their spawn like so you might even be able to just see B there as well if you are planting but it might be hard for you to get all the way over here but it's just worth noting that you can do that as well and then another little cool spot as well whilst we're over on this side of the map if you can get on top of this well you might need to jump onto the barrel then onto that like so you can actually see straight over into those spots I showed you before by the statue and this is quite a cool one you can just see top church if you jump as well but it's worth noting you know you can gain a little bit of elevation and you can see a lot of different things and if you pop a uh, deployable cover down as well you can see straight into that church without having to jump so it's just a cool spot i know i show a lot of deployable cover spots but they are worth using sometimes just because you can get in some better spots especially when you're sniping as well that's going to do it for today's video on Demiansk Lines of Sight. Hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, like I said at the start of the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. We're on the road to 800 here. I'd like to hit that maybe by the end of Feb. I'm hoping to hit 1,000 in a couple months. Or even, I'll give myself about five or six months, I think. We'll see, though. We might slow down. Who knows? But I'm really excited to be making some content for you guys. Really back into the groove of it. We had a bit of a break there for a month or so inside of Christmas time. But it's kind of expected. It's kind of a hectic time of life for everyone I think. So it can be hard to record the videos. But nonetheless I'll stop giving you my life story now. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'll speak to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.